Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm super excited to do and this and that video reviewing two of my latest releases uh, from uh, makeup artists. First of all is the Gucci Westman Antilia Mascara and then the Lisa Eldridge Kitten Lash Mascara. So they're both new in the market. I've purchased both of them. So today I want to do an eye to eye comparison and let you know my thoughts about these two mascaras as the new releases and you're interested to get any of those. I wanted to do one eye each and show you the difference between the two mascaras and my thoughts on both of them, which one I like, if there's a winner, what I think of the formulas, do they worth getting and things like that. Uh, so we're gonna go to the demo and then I'll come back with my final thoughts about these two new mascaras. So let's go to the demo. What are my thoughts on those on those two new mascaras? First of all, let's talk about the Lisa Eldridge Kit and Lash Mascara. It's definitely lengthened my and defined my lashes, as you can see. And what I like about this mascara, it gives me a fun out lashes. It's very a feminine mascara, I would say, like an everyday type of 
uh, mascara. Uh, on the other hand, the Westman Atelier, it defined in length and a bit more of my mascara and gave me a bit more of volume, as you can see, but it doesn't have that it's more volumizing, I would say, than the Lisa Eldritch. What I love about the Lisa Eldritch is the femininity, the prettiness of the mascara, while this one gives more impact. It gives a bit more volume, as you can see. But absolutely both love both formulas. I love both of the mascaras, so I highly recommend both of them. Obviously, this one is on the pricier side. Uh, so this is a good value for money. So if you think about the new mascara, it depends what things you like for new mascara. If you like more volume, I will say this, it's not the best volumizing mascara, uh, but it gives you a bit more volume than the Lisa Eldritch. I found the wand on this one, it, um, it's easier to apply. Even if you're a beginner in the makeup and you want something easy going, you're gonna love this uh, uh, mascara tube. It's just so easy to, to use, more easier than this one. I think this one you have to be a bit more careful. Uh, the difference is obviously it's on the, the brush is different. So this is like a very chunky. So you have to be careful with this wand. It's not super difficult, but it's more uh, manageable. You know, the one from Lisa Edrich is such a curved uh, brush. So it's very easy to use this one. And it gives you this beautiful feminine, if you like, just defining, lengthening, a bit of volume, but not super volumizing mascara. You're gonna love this one. And it's a very feminine, very pretty mascara, find it. But if you prefer more volume, same, it defines, it lengthens, all those good things. This mascara does it as well. So I'll show you face to face. So this is the, um, a bit closer, I'll come closer to the screen. Uh, so this one is the Westman Atelier this side and the Lisa Eldridge on the other side. So Westman Atelier on this side and Lisa Eldridge on the other eye. I think they are both super pretty, super defining, super lengthening, a bit of volume. They're not super extra volumizing, but as you can see here, there's more volume on this side, definitely. Uh, more impact, more, you can see more the, the color as well, the black mascara as well. Uh, more than the other one. The other one I find very feminine, very pretty. I don't know, somehow it's like an everyday type of mascara for me, the Lisa Eldritch. Uh, both super pretty, super lovely, but a bit, a bit of a uh, price difference. So it's uh, very, very pricey, the Westman Atelier. Uh, I'm gonna leave links down below on both of them. If you've tried any of them, let me know your thoughts. So what, which one do you think is best on me? Let me know your thoughts, what you think, Westman Atelier, or Lisa Eldridge. I love both formulas. I love both makeup artists. I love their products. And they, these are beautiful mascaras and highly recommend them. Uh, both of them, if I had to pick only one, honestly, I love both of them for different reasons. Uh, so I can't say which one to get. It's up to you, which one you like. I like to have both of them. They're both super pretty, as I can say. And honestly, I cannot pick this or that. But because of the price, maybe, and because it's a bit of a different type of mascara for me, I'd probably you vote for Issa Edrich to be the winner for today, because obviously it's a this and that video. I have to pick a winner, but if I pick one, I will pick the Lisa Edrich because of the price. And also like this type of mascara. I've never had the mascara that thought, oh my goodness, this is like a feminine, pretty mascara. I normally, don't say that, I say that for blushes, for lipsticks, but for mascara to say that, I think it was something different about any other mascara I've tried. And it's so easy to use, price is good. So I'm gonna pick a winner, the Lisa Eldritch, to be honest, but both of them are winners for me. I really love both of them, but I have to pick one. This is my reasons why I pick up the Lisa Eldritch. Let me know in the comment section if you tried any of those, if you're interested to try any of those, which one is a favorite on, from me? on me, on my eyes today, what do you think? Let me know in the comment section down below. I'm gonna leave this video here. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, everyone.